What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. I wanted to start off by sharing some good news and thanking y'all for all the prayers and the well wishes on my previous videos where I let y'all know that we had had our daughter, Parker, prematurely, and she was gonna be in the NICU for the next few weeks. Well, that is no longer the case, thankfully. We got to bring her home yesterday and introduce her to our son. So we're all under one roof, finally, and no more late night NICU trips for mom and dad. All right, so the purpose of today's video is to show y'all how we can help fill in those weak spots in our yard without overseeding or resodding. I did want to show y'all a little bit of the front yard before we got into the video though, because it is looking pretty good right now, if I do say so myself. Go ahead and show y'all down here at ground level. And then a nice little shot of Reed running up on us <laughs> and running away from us. And then also, this plant right here, which is called a weeping yucca, it finally bloomed and it looks awesome. It's about, I don't know, maybe seven, eight feet tall. It's really, really tall, really big, probably too big, honestly, for this flower bed, but wanted to get that on film as well. And a quick shot of the side yard as well, which is also looking pretty good. And we got Reed slide out here. He's actually about to go down. Let's see if we can get this on film. A little YouTube magic. All right, here we go. Go down. Woohoo, good job. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that you need to do whenever you have a weak area in your lawn is identify what exactly is causing that spot to be thin. And that can range from too much shade, lack of water, insect damage, fungus damage, and the list goes on and on. And after you have the problem diagnosed, you have to treat the problem so you're not taking two steps forward and one step backwards during the entire process while you're trying to make it thick and green again. But what exactly is the right way to go about making a thin spot in your Bermuda lawn thick again? So most people's first instinct is probably to lay down some Bermuda seed and hope that it thickens up that way. But let me tell you why that is not a good idea. Most people with Bermuda lawns, especially if you're in a fairly new construction, have hybrid Bermuda sod. And you actually can't buy seed that will match that hybrid Bermuda sod because seed comes from common Bermuda grass. So if you mix that seed in with your sod, it's not gonna match that stand of turf. And ultimately what that would result in are spots that are gonna have different color and texture than the other areas of your lawn. So unless you seeded your lawn to begin with and you know exactly what type of Bermuda seed it came from, I would advise against overseeding your Bermuda lawn with more Bermuda seed. Most people's next instinct would probably be to re-sod that area, but sod can get expensive pretty fast, so that's where plugging comes in. So plugging is pretty similar to sodding, except obviously you're using a much smaller piece of turf. And the way that I pull my plugs is with the Pro Plugger, and I got this online. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below the video if you're interested. And you could also use this in the garden bed to plant your flowers as well. But the way it works is you're gonna use the bottom part to pull your plugs. You can actually pull four inch plugs, which is the ring I have on there right now. Then you can do two inch plugs with a little smaller ring. And then if you take all the rings off, I believe it's six inch plugs that you're pulling. But you're gonna use this bottom part just like you would a shovel. And you're going to get it into the spot that you wanna pull a plug from. And you're just gonna apply pressure right here until you bring it all the way down to the ring. And I don't have any really weak areas in my yard to illustrate for y'all, but I'm just gonna use this little section on the side of my house just so I can show y'all how the tool works. I'm gonna pull two plugs and basically I'm just going to swap them. And I also have a little bit of sand in that bucket just in case the plugs that I pull end up not being level. The way it works is you're going to pull the plug on this side and then it's going to come out the top side. So I'm gonna pull the plug right here. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to actually pull this out on the first try. All right, so we're down there to the four inch mark and I'm gonna pull it up and you can see the hole that was left from the plug. And then a good thing about the design is you don't have to take the plug out every time, you just get the next plug and when you're ready to do all the transplanting, you just tump it over and all the plugs come out at once. So we're gonna pull a plug from right here as well. Oh, I can feel that I hit a rock. So this one's probably not gonna be as deep of a plug, but we're gonna go ahead and pull it anyway. Again, you can see the hole that was left there. 
Okay, and now this is the way that you're going to empty the plugs. You just tump it over. Okay, and you can see the two plugs that were left. Okay, so this was the plug that came from this side, this hole over here. Okay, and then this was the plug that came from this hole right here. So I'm going to put this one over here and I'm going to put the first one over here and you can see that they're not the same length. So I'm probably going to have to add a little sand to this shorter one to make it fit properly. So first thing I'm going to do is take the first one and put it over here. And that ended up being pretty much a perfect fit. Didn't have to do anything to it. No sand added or anything. And then this one, oh, my son's playing in the sand over here. This one, I'm probably gonna have to add a little sand to, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a handful right there. And push that in. And it looks like we are good to go. Now, as far as the care for the plug after you've transplanted them, it's very similar to new sod. So you wanna keep this watered regularly, probably at least twice a day until these plugs get established and start spreading on their own. Another thing you wanna keep in mind, and this is straight from the Pro Plugger website, when you're pulling your transport plugs from the good Bermuda, you wanna pull those about three inches apart. And then when you're taking it to the weak area or the part that you're just trying to establish, maybe it's a spot that has no grass at all, you wanna put those about six inches apart. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed the product. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the content and wanna to continue to see more of it, hit that red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.